Everybody, Ego Breaker here. I've uh, been getting a lot of private messages. Uh, people contacted me on RC Tech about how to use the Super Tuner software in Novak Speed Controllers. Uh, Novak is pretty much what I run in everything. Uh, I don't really run anything else. Um, I've been running them for quite a few months now, still learning a lot about the Speed Controllers and what works and what doesn't work. Uh, this is my Techno SCT410. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the lid off. <clears throat> I apologize for the shaky video. My big tripod's not working. Uh, it's broke so I'm kind of doing this by hand. Uh, so I apologize for the shakiness but as you can see here I am running a Novak Activate, which is an A scale size speed controller with their Novak Ballistic uh, 4.5 turn uh, 550 size CAN 2 pole motor. Uh, it's rated at 5000 kV. Um, I've ran this motor, actually, this motor and speed controller combo in this truck and in my low C SCTE. 1.0 and my low CSCTE 2.0 that I had before this. Um, we'll push this out of the way. I'll show you the Super Tuner Guide. This comes with the speed controller. Um, every Novak speed controller that has a Super Tuner software and it comes with uh, something like this um, that has a lot of information on it, uh, a lot of diff lot of good stuff. Um, as you can see here, you can change all kinds of different programming. Uh, you can think of this just like you know a Tekken hot wire or Orion has their um, little program box. Uh, same with Hobby Wing has their little LED program box. Uh, this is the same thing, except for you can change a lot more different things on it, and you can actually do it with the speed controller and you don't have to hook anything up to it. So what I'm going to show you now is how to access the Super Tuner software. Get your truck in front of you. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but there's a button right there. That is how you access the Super Tuner software. And then over here, these are lights that will actually flash to let you know what you're in as far as what you want to program. What I use is my 2.5 or my, uh, I think it's a 3.30 seconds. Uh, basically, my biggest hex wrench I can find because uh, you really have to get in there and, and push that button. Uh, so before you start programming, make sure your battery's plugged in. <clears throat> make sure you have your transmitter accessible. What you want to do is you actually want to turn it on. And make sure that you're on the right vehicle that you're wanting to do. You come back over here. My on switch is down here. And you actually turn the vehicle on. It goes through its warm-up light setting like you saw there, a bunch of different lights. And now it's on a solid red light, uh, which means it's ready to go. Um, when you get your speed controller, it will probably probably have the timing off in the speed controller. Uh, if the timing is off, this red light will still be lit solid, but you'll get a flashing white light. Uh, that actually means that it's in uh, blinky mode, basically. That light flashes, that indicates that it's in blinky mode. Okay, so now to access the Super Tuner software, what you want to do is, let me try to get a little closer here. Okay, what you want to do is you actually want to push and hold that button. Now, uh, you probably can't tell the lights that are flashing. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Um, it will actually flash a set of lights. Uh, right now, we are in uh, the first 
program that you can change which is throttle profile uh, the lights right now are flashing blue red and white as you can see it's flashing blue red and white now every time that those flash that actually tells you what setting you're in right now so right now it is flashing three times so now when you go over here and you look you got one two three four and five right now the lights flashing three times so this is the program I'm actually using right now these are all the settings that are in my speed controller right now okay so now let's say I want to change from three to four what I do is I come over here I push the button now the lights flash four times telling me that I'm in number four now modified medium timing lower RPMs more aggressive before I was in modified timing mild timing safe RPMs less aggressive okay so now if you're happy with that setting and that's where you want to stay what you do is you push and hold the button it lights up let it go it goes through its little reprogram and now it's ready to go it is in setting number four okay now you have all these other settings you can go to all the way to 18 <clears throat> what I do is when I want to go to let's say I want to go to the minimum drive minimum drive is basically uh, the punch or the starting power in the speed controller some speed controllers call it punch uh, some speed controllers call it uh, starting power this is called minimum drive so the more I increase it the more power or starting power I get or more punch I get when I hit the throttle so for me to get to number 12 which is a blue yellow and green LED light I come over here and I actually count how many times um, I go through the different sequences of colors so I'm gonna go ahead and do it now so we're gonna go hold down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12. And it's telling me I'm on number 1. So, if you look here, that's number 1. Number 1 is zero punch, zero starting power. I'm, I'm not running any uh, punch or anything right now. Um, if I want to adjust it to go higher, let's say I want to go to number 3, punch which is uh, you know a percentage as you can see here it's a percentage as you go up but to get to number three we have to get four flashes of the blue yellow green LED okay so now we come back over here still only flashing once push the button once there's one two flash push the button again one two three one two three four Okay, now that I am at number four, what I do is I push and hold it, all the lights flash, and it's saved. That is it. The red light came back on, and it's, everything is saved. Uh, what I also like to do after I get done making any changes is I actually like to go through a throttle calibration uh, to make sure that you know everything is saved right, everything's working right. So what I do is I turn off everything. I'm going to have to put my phone down. I've got a little mini tripod here, so let me put this down. See if I can get it in a manner where you guys can see.
Okay, so now to do a throttle recalibration, uh, what you do is you actually hold this button down. Your transmitter is still on. You hold the button down. While you're holding it down, you turn on the speed controller. Red light's on, go full throttle. Green light's on, go full brake. When it flashes, go full neutral. And there it is. It's all calibrated. That simple. All right, guys, if you guys uh, have any questions or anything, uh, you can look me up on RC Tech, Ego Breaker, E G O B R K R, or you can comment at the bottom. Make sure you hit the like button. Um, and please subscribe to my channel. This will be the first of many videos that I plan to do on this channel. Um, I got a lot of uh, different people here local um, that I'm going to do some interviews with, kind of talk about a lot of racing, uh, a lot of different things that we uh, like to use here. Uh, also kind of talk about our local track here. Uh, it's starting to kind of make a name for itself. We've been getting a lot of big races. Uh, talk to my race director who also builds our tracks for us and is also a Losi sponsored driver. Um, so... Make sure you subscribe to this channel, um, and I'll be back with more stuff later. Thanks, guys.